Hello everyone, welcome to the Dr. English channel. My name is Professor Warsi. I teach English in New York. And today I will teach you a very important lesson about vocabulary. In all languages, people use vocabulary when they speak and when they write. So today's agenda is pronunciation, spelling, part of speech, definition, synonyms, antonyms, and sentence. So when somebody says they know a word, they know all of these. Pronunciation, they know how to pronounce, they know how to spell the word correctly, they know which part of speech the word is, they also know what it means, and they know synonyms, words that are similar to the word they know, and antonyms, words that are opposite of the word they know. And they know how to use the word when they speak and write a sentence. So today's lesson will focus on this word. Let's pronounce it. Notice that these letters are between slanted lines, which means they are not letters, they are sounds. We're going to pronounce each sound one at a time and then we'll pronounce the whole word. Ready? K, R, E, Y, T, K, R, E, A, T. Let's pronounce the whole word. I'll pronounce it for you twice. Repeat after me. Create, create. And this is how the word is spelled. It spells C-R-E-A-T-E. -E. What does create mean? It means to make something new. Something that no one has made before. There are eight parts of speech in English. And I will be uploading a series of lessons. Each lesson focusing on one of these eight parts of speech. The first one is noun, the second one is pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Just as humans, words also have a family. There are words that are associated with the word, the root, and they have different parts of a speech. Okay, let's try to guess each one of them and I'll show you the answer. The first one is creator. Can you tell what part of a speech it is? It's a noun. How about creation? Can you guess? Okay, the next one is creature. It's also a noun. Creative. It's an adjective. Creativity. It's a noun. Creatively. It's an adverb. Okay? Now, let's look at some of the synonyms, words that are similar to create. They are build, design, invent, produce. How about antonyms, words that are opposite of create? They have a complete opposite meaning of create. They are destroy, ruin, destruct, and demolish. Now, here's a sentence that has the word create in it. Leonardo da Vinci created Mona Lisa, the world's most famous painting. So you can see the painting of Mona Lisa is the world's most famous painting. Now that we have learned how to pronounce create, how to spell it correctly, what it means, what part of speech it is, its family members, and how to use the word create in a sentence. I have an exercise for you. I have given you one example of the word that we already learned. 
And I need you to do the same with love. So practice, because practice makes perfect. Learn English with me, one lesson at a time, and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for updates. You will get a notification every time I upload a new lesson. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.